But yes, yeah, going to be heating things up. But yeah, I think you'll want to be here for sure this weekend to moksha hot yoga to keep warm. Stephanie Visti with us now. And Stephanie, you're the manager here. Um, grow your yoga. I came in and I saw the sign and I knew I would be doing some yoga. But this is a very interesting program. What is it all about? Well, Grow Your Yoga is a challenge that Moksha does internationally. It's 30 days from May 1st to May 30th, and we challenge our students to come in and practice once a day. Uh, all of our karma funds, as, long as, as well as some of our event fundraisers, are raising funds for Big Brothers Big Sisters. Also for a great cause and also a great opportunity. Uh, so if you're not really used to yoga, here's a great 30-day opportunity. Or if you're very much entrenched in it, 30 days to, to make a difference, I would think. Yes, exactly. So experience-wise, you don't have to have a lot? No, we have different levels of classes. They're all walk-in. So if you're a beginner, try a moksha class and they're accessible. You'll learn lots and 30 days gives you a great amount of time to get in the habit and build a strong practice. For those who know yoga, uh, you get a basic gist of it, maybe know some of the basic moves. How does hot yoga differ from the regular variety? Well, hot yoga is held in a heated room. Our temperature is higher as well as our humidity. Um, but the great thing about it is because you sweat, you release a lot of toxins. And also, your muscles are way looser, so you'll get deeper stretches and uh, a different experience than you would with a regular heated room. Do you sell deodorant on the way in? Or is that oh yes, definitely. Right. Yeah, you can't see it on the shelves. Right now there's a class going on behind us and uh, we're going to have some of the students hanging out uh, showing us some moves, some of the instructors as well, but literally um, this early in the morning stuff's going on here. Oh yeah, our first classes start at 6.30 in the morning and we have some very regular students that are here every day. I'm going to be talking to Siobhan a little later and find out again more about Grow Your Yoga. It's a 30-day challenge you can take part in. I know that something that's near and dear to your heart as well, Big Brothers and Big Sisters of Calgary there, Joe. Yes, absolutely. A great cause attached there. Nice, hard-hitting question. Do you have to wear deodorant? Absolutely. In a hot yoga class, there's a lot of sweating. That Brad Living is going to be joining us, the new GM of the Calgary Flames. We will meet him and talk about the future of the team. Ted, what's up in news? In news this morning, Jill talking about a measles outbreak declared in three areas of Alberta, including Calgary, where you can get a measles vaccination today. That story straight ahead in the news. And with a look ahead at traffic now, here's Dave Will. Well, it's been smooth sailing. Here we go. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you, you guys are ready for this? Because I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Crow pose, everybody. I'm not leading it, I'm following. Let's go for it. Hips Put up. your knees on top of your elbows. Uh -huh. Push your knees into your arms. Look forward in front of your mat. Yeah. Now lift your feet up. Bring your big toes together. Oh, that's good enough for me. Squeeze your arms straight. Ah! You're doing an excellent job. I am. <laughs> <laughs> almost, almost. Turn things over to another classy guy. Are high in the high teens today, Andy? But you're well beyond that where you are this morning. 37 degrees in this room, Jill, absolutely. I'm hoping coming up a little later, I'm gonna learn something called the downward couch. Or, you know, I've heard of downward dog, I'm gonna do the basset hound, which is just laying it. This looks, looks like it'd be comfortable, but fairly strenuous. I'm gonna ask Siobhan to get out of her pose. Come on, Siobhan, Siobhan. McGrenn with us now, and uh, Siobhan, you are running the studio, and I'll get down to your level here on the mat. I was asking you because I don't see it. I've never been in high yoga before. I've done some yoga. I don't see vents uh, on the ground level, but up top these panels. That's where the heat comes from. Yes. Okay, so he brings it up to 37. That is standard in this room, or do you get it hotter than that? No, 37 is pretty standard in most Moksha studios. So it's 37 degrees with the heat and about 50 to 60% humidity. The humidity is what I see all the ladies running out and grabbing these jars full of water because you got to keep hydrated. So I was going to ask you, somebody like myself who's done basic yoga, if I'm moving into hot yoga and maybe checking the Grow Your Yoga Challenge uh, out starting, at, I guess, tomorrow, mm -hmm. um, what do I have to know between regular yoga and uh, hot yoga? Um, there's not much of a difference aside from the heat, so you have to come prepared to sweat. In a typical class, you'll lose anywhere from three to five pounds of water, depending on how hard you're working. Um, so you do have to dress appropriately for it. So something like lycra, something mm -hmm. that doesn't stick to you. Pretty much the opposite of what you've chosen to well, wear know, today. Well, you know, no, 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 I got some, some, more, some warm Lulus going on here, but I see the ladies, they're not wearing shorts. Um, well, you can wear what you're most comfortable in. The way that okay. I like to describe it to people is that you're basically practicing in front of a mirror for mm -hmm. an hour, so you want to wear something that you feel 
comfortable in and something light that can breathe, so lycra material is best. Not, not that I'd be invited, uh, but I read something about nude yoga, hot yoga, uh, last year. Th does that happen? Is that a real deal? Um, and can you understand why when it gets as hot in here? I can understand why all of a sudden. I just picture people in a forward bend and think that's a terrible yeah. idea. I think you'd have to have a panel to decide who could join the yoga club at that point. Yeah, it's not about making like, money in the studio, because yeah. you just simply you don't want to see that. Yeah, I, don't, I wouldn't want to see that. I don't Absolutely know about not. you, but if you want to try it, send us photos. You're going to show me a real simple pose, mm -hmm. and then a little later something a little more difficult. What did you want to show me right now? we got 10 seconds. We're going to do tree pose, okay, so this is stand really, quickly. I think I've done this before. Ready? Okay. Stand. Place your right foot above or below your left knee. Oh. Not on your knee, though. Hands to heart. Look at me go. Look balance. at one spot. It will help with your balance. I'm looking at one spot. It is raw. See, it's if pretty. he could do it, Find your center. Find your center. Bright white light. Good, there. I mean, that helped you, bright light, light, something like that. <laughs> you are a wavering tree, my friend. This is Look it. at me go. Okay, well, <laughs> more coming up in a bit. Nicely done, Andy. Uh, one pose down, and he already looks quite exerted there this morning. Andrew Schultz, live on location at Moksha Yoga. This is very cool stuff because this program is coming up. Grow your yoga. Come on down to Moksha Yoga, Ha Yoga, and uh, kicks off tomorrow, doesn't it, Stephanie? Yep, starts on May 1st, goes all the way to May 30th. What is cool about this is I was asking you some questions because I want to wrap my head around it as somebody who, who enjoys yoga, but I'm not a yoga fanatic, and I wasn't sure if I could find the time. It's a 30-day challenge, but it doesn't mean that you technically have to to help out go for 30 days straight. No, definitely not. So we encourage you to sign up and to have your own personal challenge. Maybe you can't make it every day. You could come twice a day if you're feeling really extreme. Um, but if you miss it, not a problem. There's lots of other ways to help out. We also have, for very beginner clients that want to try it, we have karma classes on Friday night, and they're $5, and that donation goes straight to Big Brothers Big Sisters who are supporting with this challenge. Also, the fact is, it's not like one class per day that you have to go to if you're challenging yourself, because that might be a little, Calgarians are busy people, a little too challenging. It includes your full schedule. You could go any one of these classes every day for 30 days. Exactly. Okay. You definitely have a choice. I mean, we have lots of selection, and you can come and make the best of it. We have classes starting at 6.30 to 9.30, and they're all drop-in, so. So what's the cost of it, and uh, you know, where do you sign up for something like this? Well, the great thing is, if you've never done yoga, we have a, a month unlimited trial that's only $40. A regular class is less than $20, but this month, w our month is 120 but again, those proceeds, part of them will be going to Big Brothers Big, big Brothers Sisters. Big Sisters. Going to talk more about Big Brothers Big Sisters, why this charity has been chosen. Coming up in a bit. In the meantime, it is a little hot here, folks. A little hot. A little hot. I want to see Andy hold that crow for one minute. He cannot hold it for one minute. He's making that up. His balance is a... Suspect at best. <laughs> Suspect. Okay. Uh, Andrew Schultz is a practicing yogi this morning. Is he? <laughs> All right, how, how's the crow? Whoa, that looks good. You should try that, Andy. I'm, that's up next, I think. Yeah. Now we're going to try to uh, see if the crow might have been a, just a, a fluke for me because I, I could hold that pose for a couple of seconds. We'll try to finish up with that in a minute. But in the meantime, forecast wise, and in a second, the essentials for hot yoga if you're going to be taking the Grow Your Yoga Challenge. Seven day forecast, one final check at it. Seven degrees where we get things going out the gate at seventh at the airport and at our city studio. Seeing things a little bit warmer. In through well, Edmonton about eight degrees. So at 19 degrees where we settle with the sunshine, a southeast breeze 10 gusting 20 at times. Not even in a warm west breeze, but it's in a warm air mass. It's going to be very nice to us. Five degrees overnight with high cloud. That high cloud with us through tomorrow, if not mainly sunny. 20 degrees, the best we'll do over the next seven is your Thursday high temperature. Partly cloudy, oh, well, there's some showers on Friday. Showers in six degrees, so there's the cool down. Here's the top edge of the cold front that could bring a rain snow mix, particularly first parts of the day, Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, highs of three, then four degrees on Monday. Six, partly cloudy on Tuesday. They use scarves, they use everything. This is more intricate stuff to my left here at Moksha Ha Yoga. It's Stephanie, you decide to go for this uh, challenge. You decide to give it 30 days. The essentials I need if I want to do hot yoga for 30 days to make it easier on me and, and have the proper gear, what would it be? Well, definitely the first one you're going to need is a glass of water. So or here's a, jar. a mason jar for you. You guys use the jars because you like the glass better? Is that, is that why? Yeah, definitely. I mean, Moksha has some very uh, important values about being green and eco-friendly, so reusable glass jar Just for you. Not the uh, Powerade container I've been using since 1999, apparently. No. Up next. Well, the most important part to start your day, the very foundation, 
is a good yoga mat. Now I see, uh, I've been looking at the mats, some are very thin, this one seems to be a mid-range, does it matter what thickness would be? No, definitely not. I mean, the, this mat here that we sell is top of the line, but we also rent yoga mats okay. only for $2 a day. But if you're doing it for 30 days, you might as well buy yourself a mat because you're going to fall in love with yoga anyway. Yeah, good you're investment. You're going to glow like me. And lastly? Lastly, you're going to need a mat towel. This is going to keep you from slipping out in your crow. So here's that for you But as well. this goes under the mat, not for your face? Not, no, not for your face. Okay. Definitely not. You're going to need that right on top of that bad boy. It goes on top of the mat, not below on top of the mat. No slipping and sliding. I'm going to put this down. We're going to, are you ready for one more crow? You think you can keep up with me? I think we can. Okay, let's put this down. Let's get to it. Ladies, ready for the crow? Let's go. We're going to have a crow off. <laughs> Grow your yoga. Come on down to Moksha Yoga. 30 days kicking off tomorrow. Okay, the deal is in helping out Big Brothers, Big Sisters, Calgary. And uh, again, 120 bucks, a good portion of the proceeds going to help out, of course, Big Brothers, Big Sisters. Ready? Alrighty, hands down, hips up, and lean forward. Squeeze, go, squeeze your Uddiyana Banda. Do what? <laughs> <laughs> Help I, me? Think, I think Jill just swore at you. <laughs> it's about the Bandas. Engage your Bandas. Ah! <laughs> That's impressive, I'm going, Andrew I'm Schultz. Go back, you guys. You guys can wrap up the show. Okay. I've never seen anyone do yoga with a big giant white watch on their, their <laughs> wrist before. He has mastered the crow. He's been practicing for an hour. I cannot do that one. That's a tricky one. Yeah, that's cool. Awesome job, Andy.